welcome back. Um, today is the day. It's official. I have signed my notice to vacate. And I got my copy of it. Like, it was real easy. I just, and I think it's because the apartments are old school. But, like, it was simple. I just let them know why I was there. And she gave me paperwork to let me fill out. And, bam. But I think my only little mishap is I put the 30th day of July. I probably should have put the 31st. I probably should have put the 31st. But that's fine. I, I think I didn't do the 31st on purpose. Let me go look at my calendar. Okay, yeah. I purposely didn't do the 31st because the 31st is like a busy work day for me. So, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in today and put in for the 29th and 30th. So, I'll be off work. And... That way, I can literally have everything done. I'll have a whole weekend coming off from moving. Like, I'll have that Friday afternoon. i have the all-day Saturday, all-day Sunday. And then I can have that Monday and Tuesday to, like, do final movings. And then, um, like, a cleaning phase on the 30th. So, yes. I think I planned that out well. So, I'm just going to let my mom know the official day and time frames of me getting ready to officially move out. I'm pretty sure what we're going to do is grab all of my folks and have everything moved that weekend. And then it, the rest is just left up to me on those last two days or so. Because I've looked into moving companies and stuff and... I went on and started looking into them because I know you have to book in advance to make sure that they'll be available and to make sure that they'll have everything you need. But, like, when I was telling them the size and everything to get a quote, they were talking about, like, close to a thousand some dollars. And that's not including y'all packing the stuff. You're going to charge me that much to take down everything and drive it 30, 40 minutes back to where I'm going? No. No, and then you can't make no other stops in case I got to go to a storage or nothing. No, we're not doing that. So, I'm going to do the same method that I did when I moved in. We're going to use my granddad's truck. We're going to use my granddad's truck. And we're going to use that trailer. And we're going to strap everything on there at the same time. That's exactly what we're going to do. But um, I am currently in the car about to get ready to go to work because I'm already late. I had to wait till the office opened. It's currently 9.08. I'm usually already at work by now. But I wanted to literally go ahead and get this done. So, And it feels like a weight is kind of lifted off of me a little bit. But now the pressure is on. So the official countdown starts now. We literally have, we have 35 days. Jazz put a countdown. 35 days until move. It started. So I'm going to catch y'all later. Possibly when I get ready to leave work. Because I think I'm going to try and do some more packing. If I don't necessarily pack today, I'm at least going to start decluttering some stuff. And I think I'm going to start with my shoes. Because with it being summertime, I know I'm going to be wearing a lot of sandals and stuff for my feet to breathe. But I know it's like I got this, this shoe tote under my bed. And... A lot of those shoes now I have not worn in years. Like, I get stuff and I don't believe in throwing it away. But it's going to have to happen. So, I think I'll go through that when I get from work today. So, let me stop rambling and go ahead and start my work day. Because that's all I need to focus on. And I'll see y'all later. Hey, y'all. So, I am finally back home. Um, I actually came straight in and I pulled out some shoes. It's hot. I don't know what my thermostat is still saying. 81. But it's still saying. Can I see my cup? I 
bag she got when we went to the Civil Rights Museum over the weekend. I'm right back. It actually is. Okay, so it is currently 18, and I randomly decided to start washing clothes. I hope they get done before 9. Hope so. But I pulled out some shoes that I know for a fact I can possibly declutter. Um, so I want to go through them. But I do want to show y'all the bag that I was talking about earlier. So this is the bag that I was talking about. Don't worry about my foot. This is the full bag that I was talking about. It's a lot of shoes in here that I have not worn in a while. And then I also just have this little bit right here. Most of these are shoes that I'm currently wearing, besides those, of course, because those are winter shoes. So, yeah. A lot of those, I know I'm not wearing. So, I want to go through them now while I got a little bit of time. And if I don't make it all the way through, that's fine. But I at least want to start. So, I remember these shoes from Amazon, the Jess So So shoes, they kind of went viral. I wore mine out. So, these are going to go. They actually are good quality. I was actually shocked. Um, my little Nike sandals have been ran through the mud. I need to get a new pair. Or just some new, like, comfortable sandals like this in general. So, we're going to keep them for now. Because I don't have another comfortable pair to switch them out with. But... Just know they're going to be going real soon. I messed up my vans. I wonder can I wash them. Yeah, I think I can wash them. Can you wash vans? I'm going to see. And if I can, I'm going to revive Hey y'all, um, welcome back. It's been a few days and I realized when I was editing this particular video, I'm basically kind of dragging it out and I don't want to do that. So I'm finally back and I have already tasked myself to do two out of three things today and then we're going to end this portion of the moving series. Um, today is Sunday. It is July, July the 7th, and I still got so much to do when it comes to packing. So, the checklist for today is pack up purses, clean out one full closet, and keep decluttering a lot of the clothes that are in this dresser alone. Because I have a lot of t-shirts and stuff that I know I can get rid of. I probably could have got rid of them before I even moved here. But I have a thing about keeping clothes. Whether or not I wear it or not. So, purses, one full closet, 
t-shirts. I'm not going to hit this closet yet because a lot of the stuff in here is work clothes or semi-decent clothes to wear on the weekends if I go somewhere. So, we're not going to touch that. Just everything over here. And then the goal is to also pack up the purses and stuff. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do today. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so those are the purses out. I just I'm just taking everything to the living room so I can actually see what all I'm keeping, what all I'm giving away. So while I got the purses out, I'm just gonna go ahead and take all this hair stuff out too because half of this hair stuff I don't need. Probably thinking I ain't worth shit But I never want anyone to bring you any harm And I take it all back just to have you in my arms And I know for a fact who you are into we are Okay, y'all. I don't know if y'all can really see clearly or not, but this is everything that came out the floor of my closet. And then this is all the bags that I have. Um, it seems like I have more hair products than I do purses. But anyway, I know most of my purses are saying, but a lot of this stuff is going to be gone. Ignore that. Those are shoes I had over the weekend, and I just haven't put them back up yet. But all of this... All this is getting, I'm going to go through it and we're going to see what happens. But that right there is most definitely saying that's the best hair dryer I've ever seen. Hands down. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to get back to cooking real quick and then we're going to tackle all this. Okay, so instead of putting my purses in a box that I could probably use to buy something else for, for something else, I'm going to look out here in my storage because I just remembered that I have a box that I had purses from my business in. And if I don't have too much stuff in there, I can actually put all those purses in there. I just have to make sure it's wrapped up tight. So let's go out here and see what's going on. Okay, so it's kind of loud out here. So if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. Come on. Turn. Is this not the right key? All right, I got it open. Uh, I'm just leaving my keys in there. So this is what's going on in here. So it's a little small storage, but I was able to keep a lot of stuff in here. Um, I can't remember if any of these, I don't think they are. 
none of these are empty but the thing i'm talking about is actually right here at the bottom so let me try and pull that out i'm gonna have to sit y'all somewhere so i won't break out So before I actually deep dive into packing, I'm actually going to take a break and cook me some breakfast and prep my food for dinner. So for dinner, I plan on having the remainder of my lamb chops that I need to cut up. I actually got them from um, Trader Joe's. I think they call them lamb pops or something like that because they're small. But anyway, um, I'm going to do those. I'm going to do some Brussels sprouts and I'm trying to see if I want to do some mashed potatoes or if I want to do macaroni and cheese but the macaroni and cheese that I have is from Aldi and it's that lobster mac and cheese so I think I'm just going to do some instant mashed potatoes because I don't have any actual bacon potatoes to make me a loaded baked potato which I really want. I'll make that throughout the week because that can actually be a dinner by itself. We'll do that throughout the week. So, lamb pops, Brussels sprouts, instant mashed potatoes. And I can make them taste like loaded mashed potatoes. Yeah, so I'm about to cut this up and then I'm actually going to cook me some breakfast because it's been a while since I've actually had a weekend to where I took time to cook breakfast. Like, lately, even on the weekend when I'm supposed to be relaxing, I don't relax. I get up at this time or even earlier and start doing stuff instead of just relaxing. So, we're going to do this today. So, y'all, they're so small, but the first time I cooked them, they were really, really good. And it was my first time cooking them. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and cut these up. They were actually pretty good size, too. I'm cutting it right this time though. I'll come back. Okay, so this is what they look like once they're cut. I know y'all probably like, oh, she's showing raw meat, but that's that's what they look like when they're cut. I'm not a cook with me type of person, but I mean, I thought I'd throw this in here and put a little notice out. Like, I'm not buying any food right now. Like, I'm trying to use up everything that's in my freezer. I've done a really good job with my refrigerator, though. Because the only thing that's left in my refrigerator is eggs, a little bit of bacon, some little clementines, and what? Water. <laughs> so, a lot of the meals that I have right now are frozen. Which just prompts me to cook more because I tell myself, we're not buying anything food related or clothing related for this one like everything we need everything i want or need is gonna have to already be at the house i'm put a little bit of worcestershire sauce on here i really need to pour it in the cap though yeah i'm gonna pour it in the cap so like i said i'm not like a real cook with me person but, like, if there's something I want, I'm going to try and cook it. Because I get tired of eating the same old, same old. And lamb chops is the first type of, it's, would it be considered exotic meat? It's the first type of exotic meat that I've ever tried. And so far, I really like it. So, somebody said put mustard on it. And I'm not sure, but, okay. It's gonna put a little bit, not a lot. I think that's to like coat it or whatever. So, yeah, just gonna put it all over there. Make 
extra. Even coated everywhere. I guess it'll give it that nice crisp that I'm looking for. Because last time I the first time I cooked them, they were good. But they just weren't as crispy as I would have liked them to be. So, yeah. I just realized I'm using my hand. So I'm going to have to bleach my hand down as well as bleach everything else Now what I'm going to do is put them in this bag because, like I said, this is going to be for dinner. It's just now, what, nine? It's if, if it's even nine, yeah. So I'm going to just put these in this bag and let them marinate until later today. And plus, I don't want them sticking all out if I'm going to go somewhere. You know, I doubt I'm going anywhere. But, yeah. I'm going to put them in here and... Everywhere I go, they got me jumping, 
I see you eating chicken, I see you smoking weed, I see you drinking and making, actually, you're barely making music. I'm gonna need you to drop more songs, because Dead Man Walking was not satisfied, I was not satisfied with because I had already heard it before, and I'm gonna need you to drop a whole album this new year, 2021. I expect more from you. This is ridiculous. It is very ridiculous. So, you need to re- Message deleted. Baby, it's the love The drug Baby, it's the love The drug The heat Baby, I'm just so good Maybe it's the love, the drugs, the weed, the pussy Maybe it's all the above Maybe I don't need a hug Maybe I'm just fucked up Maybe it's the love, the drugs, the weed, the pussy Maybe it's all the above Maybe I don't need a hug Maybe I'm just fucked up Sick. I said the thought gon' be your thought So I'm like, fuck these bitches My son got a mother and I love her so it's different I'm here for one night, so baby girl, what you sippin'? I'm on some bullshit, but 94 Scotty Pippin. I say the last dancer when I'm drunk or when I'm hitting. Your boyfriend, like that boy, push that boy, get in life. Me out, come on to me now. It's me and my niggas, we lit and we wild. Maybe it's the love, the drugs, the weed, the pussy. Maybe it's all the love. Maybe I don't need a hug. Maybe I'm just fucked up. Maybe it's the love, the drugs, the weed, the pussy Maybe it's all the love Maybe I don't need a hug Maybe I'm just fucked up 
I wanna have more patience, but you're so territorial. I can't even kick it, cause you're watching my story, though. I got what you seen, and I got something you don't need to know. I done gave more dick than a little. I know I'm the reason that you're freaking out. You wish you could be the reason that I settled down. You done gave me all I wanted, but I still got reasons I should fuck around. Maybe it's the love, the drugs, the weed, the pussy Maybe it's all in love Maybe I don't need a hug Maybe I'm just fucked up The love, the drugs, the weed Maybe I'm just fucked up Just fuck. Friend. I just wanna know if you pretend 
good for the soul. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. Look like Tyler Berry But she don't love me She's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown yeah, <laughs> I wanna know but she's so down Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract Get no baby In the meantime It's not going well It's the meantime Hope you know what you want Everybody beats like Odell. Oh, my mom, my killers don't tell. Shut down my mom, cause I knew you off the shelf. Oh, now my bitch is in the kitchen now. Hey, y'all, so... I've done as much as I can mentally take today. Um, I did clean out my closet, but I ended up putting some stuff back in there just storage-wise. And I did not get to my dresser, like my black dresser right there, with all my t-shirts in it, because I started doing other stuff. So, if you see those two, those two small boxes over there, I actually went on and took everything off of there as well as packed up all of my fragrances and then i also packed up like the glassware that was on my bookshelf i put that in the other small box so we're gonna stop right there so i have this stuff that i'm gonna be giving away or throwing away and then i just gotta straighten up in here because i got stuff everywhere but other than that I think that's going to be it for today. I'm sorry if this vlog is not up to par, but like this is like my version of moving series. I don't necessarily have a lot, but I have a lot of beauty products. So, yeah. That's all for today. Um, yeah, I can tell it. Don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button before you leave. See y'all later.